Hey guys, Ali here. So I put up a post on my Instagram saying, I've seen these floating breakfasts all over Instagram. Do you want to see one? Overwhelming majority was yes. So I thought I'd do it. This is a strange experience, but let me talk you through it. So we rented out a, a private villa. I think this is the best way to do these because it's completely private. There's no one else around, you can be yourself. Um, apart from lots of people watching you on YouTube. But yeah, so we rented a private villa and then they bring breakfast uh, for an optional cost usually to your pool. So this is what it is, we picked what we wanted, they gave us a little slip, we said a, uh, I think we said a Japanese breakfast and a chicken and sweet corn fritter breakfast, so this looks pretty good, so I'm going to get straight into it, okay, so do you know what, I'm going to start with my cappuccino to give me some energy and courage because this is going to be a challenge, that's very cappuccino-y, right, okay, let's start with these fritters I've seen these in Bali everywhere these are actually probably my favorite thing these are delicious that's no different they're really crunchy and because they're fried they're really like fatty and I, oh man it's just it's like comfort food mm. sorry if I struggle I'm used to having my food in a stationary position rather than a floating position here we go just a piece of chicken. This, I have to say the the breakfast elsewhere would have been awesome. This is cool because it's floating, it's like a thing, but the food, it looks like okay. It's cold and dry, nice. Pineapple juice on deck. I take that back, that's mango lussi on deck. I wonder who had the idea to like, who was in a chlorine filled pool and said, do you know what would be good here? Food produce. Yeah, let's try the gyoza. If you don't know, I love Japanese food. Give these a go, these are really cool. Generally, let me try them first. Mm. It's a chicken gyoza, that's awesome. I like it when they do it properly, when it's like crispy on one side and like a bit soft around the other side, which this, this is a good one. Here's some. Japanese fried chicken. I think this is chicken karagi. I take that completely back. I think that's chicken teriyaki. Which is so nice, actually. It needs some sort of dipping sauce, though. I feel like it needs. That's miso soup. Okay, there's no sauce, but that's okay. It's quite sweet. If you've not tried chicken teriyaki, it's quite sweet. Which isn't to my usual palate, but that's okay. Okay. Refreshing some pineapple. Which are called ananas everywhere, apart from England. I don't know why. Mmm. That's good. I love fruit. Especially with quite heavy breakfast like this. Pineapple are one of the only fruits that are actually poisonous. Did you know that? I eat them anyway. Because I'm badass. Next thing I want to try is Japanese kanji. I've only ever had Chinese kanji, which if you know any people that have kanji, you'll know that kanji is quite popular. I like it with like chicken flavoring and chicken stock. Um, but I'm going to give this, this is a Japanese kanji, which is basically just, it's, it's essentially a rice dish. They cook it and cook it and cook it, make it quite sort of glutinous. I, I, I like it. Mm. That's quite salty, which I enjoy. Yeah, that's quite nice. It definitely needs something else. Maybe something, something meaty, something spicy. It just needs another flavour or textural change in there, I think. Okay. Ooh. Let's really make this floating. And did you notice that this was a love heart? This seems very romantic. Oh, let's have this pastry. Which we have to pay extra for because if you have the Indonesian breakfast, you don't have to pay. But the other stuff... You have to pay like two pounds for a pastry basket. That's dead. <laughs> I'm not like those bloggers I just lied. So everything's great. Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that. Let's try. Also, if you're thinking about a floating breakfast and after this glowing review, I'm sure you are. Um, if you, some villas have it included. Others, you have to pay sort of 50, 60, 70 pounds. So it's, I think it's quite dear for the, I think it's more for the gram. I think it's quite expensive for the experience. 
to learn from my mistake and probably use that 70 pounds and have like a week's worth of great breakfasts. That's what I would do. Uh, but this is, like I said, I did it mainly just to see what the experience is about. I like trying new things, so why not? What they don't tell you on the gram is you can't put your hands down in water because then your fingertips will get all like chlorine-y and then your food will get all chlorine-y. But, so you have to hold them up. Seriously, man, I'm doing like shoulder flies. I am tired. Let's have a croissant. A little French croissant. Mmm. My croissant with a little bit of cheese on it. If you get that reference, you're OG. This has no cheese. This is good. This is the best thing on the thing we've had so far. It's the croissant. I've eaten pretty much... Oh, God, there's tofu there. And I was avoiding that because I don't like tofu. But for the review, I shall do it. I think this is tofu. Oh, this is this is egg. This is this is egg. Let me try um, this Japanese omelette style egg. That looks about as good as it tastes. So do not ever 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 have this. <laughs> no, I've had this actually in um in restaurants. It's really warm and it's fluffy. And it's absolutely delicious. But here, I think it's supposed to be cold, I would imagine, and it's not great. So, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take you over there and talk inland, and then we'll have a really, really quick summary of the food and just tell you what I think. Oh my god, it feels so good to get this arm down. The other one is still tired. Yeah, so my general review, I mean, it might just be that particular breakfast, but... You know, I didn't really rate it that highly. I think it's really expensive for what it is. I think you could save that money, go somewhere else, have a really, really good, like a full two days of eating with that in a lot of countries. 70 pounds is, is a lot of money. Um, even if the food was like amazing, let's just say the food was amazing, right? It's like, oh, it was really cool food, it's really amazing. I'd rather have it on stationary land rather than it floating all over the place. And you get all wet and there's chlorine everywhere and you have to have a private villa and it was okay, but I would say save your money, go somewhere else, have a really good experience with the family, do that over this. But at least, you know, I've now had that experience. I've made that mistake, so you don't have to. But um, yeah, the gram lies. They made it seem so luxurious. So yeah, that's essentially my review. Thank you for those who stuck by and waited till the end of the video. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. I've got another couple more uh, videos coming for uh, Bali, really. It was supposed to be a full Indonesia series, but long story short, we couldn't get flights and we had some problems. So I couldn't fly over to Jakarta, but I will do probably next year now. Prior to that, I've still got Thailand, Malaysia, Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I've got a lot of places left to go. So stay tuned and I'll see you all in the next video. But until then, have a great day.